the most common complaints friends of mine will call about is, Dave, I've got cracks in my slab. I was wondering if you can come take a look at them. And uh, they're all worried and wondering if their house is moving. Here in Texas, we've got a lot of slab on grades, meaning a concrete slab just on top of the ground with a house built on top of it. There's no basements or crawl spaces underneath them. So foundation, obviously, very important. But uh, there are some cracks you should worry about, some cracks you don't have to worry about. What I'm about to show you I commonly call a cone crack. Whether it's an ice cream cone or whatever, there's a reason for this. But uh, it has more to do with thermal expansion than it has to do with the, uh, the slab uh, faltering in any way. So what am I mean by this? Well, it's uh, normally on the southwest corner of a house. We're here in Texas. The sun gets good and hot in the summer. I'll zoom in here. We've got a typical cone crack going on here. See if I can get you zoomed in. But uh, there it is. You'll see starting over here, comes down, goes down into the ground, and then goes from there. It's a typical cone crack. So why is it happening? Let's go take a look at construction and see if we can find the root of this problem. So here we go. Here's a picture of the outside of a house being built. Uh, the white material you see is a weather resistant barrier or a house wrap. It goes down where it meets the slab there. That's where we call the brick ledge, where the brick or stone will be laid. And you'll notice there's a piece, a very thick black plastic laid on top of that. The job of that material is to keep the mortar from adhering to the concrete. And then we'll see a quick little video that when we come to an outside corner, that this plastic must be overlapped so the concrete is not exposed. Imagine if the concrete was exposed and the mortar attaches to it, Gorilla glues itself to the concrete, then we'll have this problem. But this is a good way of how this stuff should look. Now that you had a sneak peek of construction behind the scenes, you understand that even before this brick goes on the house, there are some things that need to be done to keep cracks like this from happening. That simple piece of plastic will keep that foundation from cracking. So what's happening, we're staring at the southwest wall of this house. In the summer, late in the afternoon, the blistering heat and sun is uh, blasting that corner. And it's making that brick expand. That brick is technically uh, Gorilla glued to that concrete. So when it expands, it pushes the concrete out to the point where it cracks. You'll get that angular crack, kind of like a cone, and it'll go down into the ground. Is it a big deal? Not really. It's uh, something we can deal with. It's more cosmetic than it is structural, so don't worry about it. The brick will stay on the house, the foundation will be fine, but uh, I hope this brings a little clarity to what I call the most common crack you see on a slab on grade. That's it for this edition. Uh, click on the like button down below, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the next Homes Built Right.